ever wanted to put a story, add a little intrigue into your e-learning course? Uh, I've tried doing different stories and I've found that sometimes it can just be too tough. So today I'm going to share a fun way that you can actually use the scenario block in Rise to tell a little story and then give learners a choice, give them something sort of in the gray area. Uh, I'm going to share some examples of work that I did uh, for a code of conduct or an ethics policy training. One of the staples of uh, online onboarding program, uh, but I wanted to show you how I used a little story. They've got some material that comes before, and then I put someone in a choice where they've got a, a decision to make. Okay, so uh, we have this uh, MSD employee. It says, uh, you're eligible for a number of benefits. Can you follow the guidelines? Got a little bit of a story. Proud of my nephew, going back to college. Okay. He's not making a lot of money, so he doesn't have a car. Now he's not making a lot of money, so he doesn't have a car. She has a car, but knows that some employees get free bus tokens. She wonders, could I get some to help Kendall, even though she's not going to use them? So then we have a yes and we have a no. So if we say, yes, they're your benefits, she says, oh, that's not true. What's the policy? Then uh, this is, uh, I'm sharing this because I haven't finished it yet. Uh, I'm communicating with the team on where we're going to have our text. But what's great is that now we can actually have a number of different feedback screens. Uh, if you know me, I love Michael Allen. I love the CACAF model, CCAF. And uh, we're really focusing here on the F part of it. The feedback is where we actually talk about the policies and the key things to know. They've already had their moment of choice, so they're, they're ripe and ready for the feedback. So then we can have them start over again. I'll click through it again because there's something I want to show you here. This is actually a question. In a minute, I'll go ahead and show it to you here. But instead of having multiple choices here, I just said, OK. Then we continue the story here in the feedback. So let me show you here. When I go in and I edit in Rise, you'll see that we've got the first screen that's set up. I've hidden the character. Then on the next character, you can go through, if you've never worked with it, you can go through and change the employee's emotions so that you can pick the picture. There's even a whole library of them that are up here. And you can go through and scroll and sort. So it gives you lots and lots of choices for this. So we say OK, and then the story continues. He's not making a lot of money, so he doesn't have a car. I'm trying to just get all the context, that first C in the CCAF model. Then she says, she has a context, but could she save them? So we have a yes, we have a no, and then we have more feedback and more pictures there. So then here, if you notice, this one is set up so that it says dialogue, and then we follow that up with just different text. So if you want to do a real quick and easy way to get your learners thinking about a topic and then give them the feedback, uh, go ahead. That's really the step here. When you go in and you add content, just make sure that you're choosing right between dialogue and text. So for me, I started off with dialogue. I continued my story even here in the feedback by just having one response. If you build these, they can get a little bit tricky. And then uh, it ends up with something that's really just sort of a nice, this is nice. I think that multiple choice questions don't prepare you for the choices you make on the job. We want something like this where we're actually thinking through a story and sort of navigating the gray area of the of black and white policy. So I hope this is a recipe that you can use. Uh, I do have a long video that I recorded. I recorded myself building this entire interaction. If you would like to see that, I will edit the video, but please like and subscribe. If I see comments that are asking to see, hey, Carl, will you share the whole example of that? I would be happy to do it and have a great week.